Hi Taurus, my name is Rose Warrior, your activation high priest is here with a message from Holy Spirit. Let's begin. Holy Spirit, lead us to the truth here. Angelic guides, benevolent forces of my beautiful, beautiful Taurus collective here. Taurus ancestors, what are the messages here? Protect us in a safe, high vibration, rubble of the highest white light here. Ashe, and so it is. By the snap of these three fingers, we begin. And that was at three, three seconds here. Awesome. What do we have for Taurus? Alrighty, Taurus. So what I'm feeling already is that something is beginning to change within your systems here. I just heard on all levels. Yep. You just came out in your reading here, by the way in the highest vibration so you are in some sort of state of being where information is being passed down to you from your ancestors from your lineage for some of you you may not even understand where this information is coming from but you are being communicated with by spirit at this time in a way that is so profound you really believe that there is a higher source. There is a higher love out there with you, in you, out there, in here, everywhere, existing all in one unison here, in one consciousness. So what I'm picking up on Taurus is with this Ace of Wands here, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. You are coming into some sort of intuitive upgrade. You are finally coming into a psychic ability or some sort of creative ability is brewing within you. You are learning to take the baton and to take the leadership role here. You are being positioned. You are being placed in powerful roles here. This could be at work, in the corporate office, in any way, shape, or form, wherever you're at in your journey here. You are literally being given the limelight, given the power of vitality here to succeed, to move forward in power is what I just heard. Yes, with the emperor here, emperor here is number four in major arcana. Major arcana number four is foundation. Number four is protection, providing with the energy and intentionality and direction Providing with these things here give you that ability to go on a quest and actually create the dynasty, create the empire that you envision. So Taurus, you're coming into something extremely powerful, extremely high vibrational, and extremely masculine. There's a masculine energy within you that I'm sensing right now. You could be distracted at this time you know we got to keep it real here with rose you could be distracted at this time with this page of cups here pisces cancer scorpio this could be a water sign distracting you at this time could be distracted by a water sign in some way shape or form or your intuition could be a little blocked at this time with the seven of cups here as there's all these different transitions going on i'm tapping in and channeling at the same time as i read so don't mind me if you're new here. I hope you feel welcome. And if you're returning, I hope you feel enlightened by the messages each week here. So let's continue with the Seven of Cups energy here and this Page of Cups. Moving further along into the timeline for most of you here. Either you've passed this energy and we're going to read where you're really at. And for some of you, you're just now getting here. Where you're now realizing that what's being presented to you can only be seen through the heart, can only be seen through the spiritual eyes. You have to truly unlock yourself in some way, shape, or form through a spiritual sense of decision making here. It can't be through the mind is what I just heard. It has to be through the heart. You have to trust your intuition at this time deeply, Taurus. Something about this emperor here. This is the emperor. And number four, major arcana here. This is Aries energy, so you could be Aries sun, Aries moon, or rising here. I just heard Aries Saturn. You could have an Aries Saturn as well. 
you are coming into some sort of position of power, some sort of position in life where you finally feel you are home. You could have never felt this sense of calmness or awareness like you do now, Taurus. Whoever I'm speaking to, I'm tapping into someone who finally knows their mental capabilities, their mental power is what I heard originally here. So we have the Wheel of Fortune number 10 showing up. You could be seeing the numbers 555 or 1010 here. Could also be seeing 88. But money is coming in and the Wheel of Fortune is a shift happening and occurring for many energies around you, but it's specifically you. Because with the Wheel of Fortune, it deals with the fixed signs here. This is Taurus, Leo, this is Scorpio, and this is Aquarius. You are a gatekeeper of knowledge, Taurus. You are a literal gatekeeper. You see how they all have wings and they all have a book here. I believe it's a, a, a Torah or some sort of ancient scripture that they all have. You have some deep knowledge rooted within you, Taurus. Something about your earthly energy, your grounded mentality, your ability to sense Everyone in the room where they feel and how to negotiate, cooperate is what I'm getting here. Yeah, you whatever field you work in or whatever position you're being placed in, especially positions that bring in financial success, which is on the way, is what your ancestors say. Mm -hmm. Whatever this is, this deals with your ability to help people see themselves for who they truly are. For your ability to help people gain strength, gain health, gain confidence within themselves. You have that Aries fire. It's just big Aries energy is what I'm getting. Yeah, 707 here. You're bringing in financial success, but also abundance through leadership quality here. With the Wheel of Fortune, you have some sort of knowledge deeply rooted within your spirit, but also deeply rooted within your cellular system here in your DNA that is activating here. Something is shifting here in your favor. You are being asked also to drop traumatic views is what I'm hearing. So what I mean by this is there's trauma that you're still not facing or there's certain traumas that maybe you are now learning. Maybe this message is a confirmation for you. Yeah, there's a fly going around, which I haven't seen in so long in a reading. So there's definitely a lot going on within your mind and you can feel like slightly distracted by the movement that's occurring around you at this time. But as the wheel shifts, and as you drop certain ideologies you once had about yourself, about others, know that there is a knowledge unlocking within you. Yeah, 818. For me, that's the number of God here. Because mm -hmm. in reflection, it's 99. Nine. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing going front and back. So something about your past, your future, meeting with the present self here. That's what I'm picking up on. Everything is symbolic here when we're in our flow and stream of consciousness, especially with Taurus here. Mm -hmm. I love Taurus energy. I'm an earth sign as well. If you're new here, I really hope that this message resonates. Please take what resonates only. Leave the rest. Just tapping in here and being a messenger for God. Yeah. So to clarify this Wheel of Fortune here, number 10 in Major Arcana, signifying shifts occurring major shifts occurring we got three of wands here leo sagittarius aries energy you are realizing you truly have creative potential you truly have the ability to create the reality you really fucking want the, the reality you know brings this calmness the reality you know brings awareness of what the body needs is what I'm hearing. Mm -hmm. I'm picking up on someone who cares about their body. Taurus, you care about how good you feel. Yes, you love comfort. Yes, you love luxury. But you like others to feel good. You love others to feel strong. I just heard optimal. You like others and the people around you to be at their most optimal. 
and you are at, at you are literally at your most optimal not only physically but mentally and that was at 10 minutes in the duration clock here so we are confirmed by spirit you showed up here as the hierophant this is taurus energy here the hierophant represents taurus and it's in taurus's highest vibration here you could be a high priestess or a high priest here with the hierophant somebody extremely powerful extremely psychic whoever i'm speaking to you could know tarot down you could understand tarot down you could understand esoteric information so easily you're extremely psychic something about your aries placements your i just heard cancer placement and something about your wherever your sun placement is it's very significant to this masculine psychic energy that you have because we've got the emperor and the hierophant showing up here this might be the cover for you because wow you are powerful taurus you just heard cover girl i just heard magazine so something about your look something about the way you come off to people is extremely royal extremely regal almost like a Leo. I'm just feeling that energy. I'm not really feeling a Leo experience going on in this situation, but you come off very regal in a different way, almost like when you view this statue, right? And people talk about it and, and then there's, I'm envisioning this one person being bored, but everyone else in the room that appreciates, yep, 1144, that appreciates knowledge, that appreciates true art. They appreciate the detail they appreciate the erosion they appreciate how how much longevity it takes for a statue to remain beautiful is what i'm getting here this is just the energy that i'm getting because there's this stance there's this power there's this set nature this groundedness in you taurus look at your energy here you are in one of your highest vibrations you've ever been in in life you are highly intuitive highly connected with spirit what whether it's through a relationship whether it's through someone you're very close to a family member here how you're highly connected with spirit one two three four you've been taking steps on your spiritual journey that have led you to this point taurus and we're going to tap in we're just now beginning we have ten of swords here libra gemini aquarius energy here you ended something for sure we've got ten ten showing up in your reading so you could be seeing the numbers ten ten for sure we've got ten of swords and the number ten in major arcana here something ended here relationships ended and you're letting go of anything that didn't that literally doesn't serve you yes but you're also truly accepting you're truly not even looking back for a lot of you you're in this timeline i'm now seeing this energy of someone who is accepting what no longer serves them not just knowing not just growing from it but truly accepting surrendering to what to what has to go is what i just heard this ten of swords here is giving me the energy of a lot of pain a lot of people brought a lot of pain pain that was extremely unnecessary is what your ancestors are saying blood was shed that was extremely unnecessary however it was necessary for you to know how powerful you truly are how strong you truly are how protected and loved and nurtured you truly are, even when the world tries to break you down, is what I'm getting with this Ten of Swords energy. This is that Hierophant energy, this masculine, beautiful, powerful energy is what I'm feeling here. We got Dragon Guardian at the bottom of the deck here. This is my personal deck, so we're going to read from probably the most powerful deck on my table is this deck, period. I pray heavily over this deck here and cleanse it heavily every day this is fire protection literally some sort of dragon guardian you could be connected to dragons here splitting the deck we have dark hair tall i could be speaking to somebody who has dark hair dark features dark eyes darker skin could be speaking to someone who's taller i'm picking up on someone who was made fun of for being tall or lanky yeah 1444 four, four. You were always protected, even though you were bullied, is what I heard here. Yeah, whoever I'm picking up on, yeah, Taurus, you're extremely... 
I'm picking up on karmic clearing here. Mm, we have father wounds showing up. That's it says nurture yourself, build self love. So you're healing. Well, okay, I'm getting, I'm understanding. You're being provided with the ability to heal your own heart in ways that you weren't aware of before. I'm picking up on someone or a Taurus specifically, right? Who didn't know. Someone who really didn't know how to heal themselves. You're, you're just now learning is what I'm hearing. And this could be new to you. Loving yourself could be new to you. To you. And you're, you're learning how to put yourself first, how to apply the knowledge you're learning at this time. And you're, and you're also learning that this knowledge is not just any fucking how to fix a blah, 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 101. This is not that type of knowledge here. This is not how to build a desk for beginners. This is how to save the world by healing yourself, how to heal the world by healing yourself here. You're learning something that some that people in humanity don't work towards. They don't really find the dedication here. We have Virgo energy. We have communication and dedication. Virgo energy deals with communication. It deals with the mind and how we express through analysis, through research. So you've been researching with this Virgo energy. You've been quiet. You've been introverted. Taurus. You could have a Virgo around you or have a Virgo placement, but there's this Virgo energy showing up. Something about your communication and your dedication. One thing about Virgo energy here is it is very connected to the sixth house. So something about your work or something about your position at work. That energy is very significant here. Yep, we have remove all distractions remove all distractions here that come that came up under virgo energy we have independent and confident like i said you're coming into this understanding that you have power you have real power you have real knowledge you're chosen because you chose taurus you know this come on now I'm just, I'm hearing and feeling that half of you are subscribers that are, are returning and you're like, yeah, that's me. Yep. I can hear some of you saying, that's me. I got to remove all these distractions. Yeah. You got to, you got to remove all that shit. You're the emperor. You're vibing with that, that emperor energy here. It's the highest vibrational masculine energy you can vibrate as the emperor here. You're creating a legacy. Yeah. You just have big money show up here. Big money showing up under independent and confident. It says cleanse the mind. Wow, that's awesome. So there is definitely something about you, you needing to cleanse the mind, removing distractions here. You've been distracted. Yeah, because the remove all distractions crossed seven of cups here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio from earlier in the reading. So there's definitely certain energies around you that feel like they're in your favor but you're sensing um eh, i don't know if some of these energies are really meant for me so i'm hearing there's nothing wrong with that type of thought process here as long as it's not clouding your judgment from what's really important and that's a message for some of you i'm channeling here okay meaning everything's not going to feel chronological you really have to pray and have that spiritual awareness while watching these readings. And that's a message for some of you. And for, for anyone who's new to tarot, make sure you pray while you're watching all of your favorite readers, yeah? So we have learning new skills showing up here. Like I said, <laughs> this independence, this confidence here, this Virgo energy, communication, dedication here, expressing the self. All this leads to you gaining independence, gaining big money here. For all you've suffered, for all you've went through, you're bringing yourself this. I heard earlier today, happiness is brought from within. And you're learning this. It says education is the most powerful personal resource you can use to change your life and the world. That is beautiful. 
That is beautiful. Education is the most powerful personal resource you can use to change your life and the world. So right now you're learning, studying, brewing up something. There is some sort of creation here that is happening. You're jotting your notes down. You're studying, you're searching the web. Mm -hmm. You're reading There's something about this brown book, something about a book here. Something about a book you're reading or studying is highly, highly valuable to this moment in your life. We have rejuvenation. It says take time to rest and recharge your batteries. So you're being asked to rejuvenate. And because of that, I'm being called to actually cut the reading shorter to really allow you that time to marinate on this information. Yes, but to also take time and rest here. You have to allow this energy to set in this new position to really integrate into the body. All the lessons you've learned are integrating into the body. This knowledge is integrating into the body. So you're going to be learning new things and applying these lessons. This is awesome energy. This is definitely higher fluid energy here. For sure. We have achievement. Focus on what makes you victorious. Exactly. What I'm picking up here is through rejuvenation, through studying, through research, through practice, right? We are very practical, Taurus, through foundation, through building a true sense of self here, identity that is connected so deeply to spirit. Nobody can move you, right, Taurus? Because you're fixed on what's truth, on how you can help the world here. With achievement, it says, focus on what makes you victorious. I'm picking up on someone who has the power within their heart here, Ven Venusian energy, Venus energy. You have this power, a superpower within your heart to connect to people effortlessly. There's a radiance about your throat chakra and a radiance about your heart. I just heard creator of galaxies. I just heard silver wing, silver star. Something about these messages could be resonating with some of you or not. Take what's yours, okay? I'm just here as a message I forgot. I'm going to say that again, okay? We have, because I'm feeling that there's a lot of new energies on my page right now. I just want to make sure people understand my purpose here, okay? If you would like to donate and keep my channel running, that is always appreciated even 50 cents literally goes a long way you wouldn't believe it but it does speaking of that we have angel of wealth here it says financial flow comes easily to you say this with me i make money easily and daily doing what i love i make money easily and daily doing what i love one more time i make money easily daily doing what i love period Achievement, you're going to be achieving something. You're going to be bringing in wealth here. The bottom of the deck literally says that loved ones are here protecting you, guiding you here. If you have a spiritual connection with someone that doesn't go away, it stays. Especially if you're here on earth still carrying out a, spe a specific mission here. That was a message for two or three of you out there it may not resonate with everyone. I'm also a medium as well, so Sometimes I just channel family members here. I've lost family as well. So I understand this pain here that I'm feeling. But this flow of wealth is coming in for all you've endured, all you've surrendered to. You're now rising, this phoenix rising energy here. But I'm also picking up on water energy. Could be a cancer, could be a Scorpio. Definitely could be a Scorpio here as well. Scorpio moon or Scorpio rising who has like a Taurus sun or something. So what I'm picking up on is money is coming your way and you have some sort of connection to your emotions, something about your nurturing qualities, bring in financial success. Let's pull some tarot. I'm getting pulled two cards. So I'm gonna pull two cards for you, Taurus. Let's see what's up. Oh, two cards came out exactly, perfect. Thank you, spirit. So Taurus, yep. Funny how I was saying you could be a Scorpio here. We have Scorpio energy showing up. This is the tower here. Sc Scorpio, sun, moon, arising energy. 
but there is a transformation going on and brewing within you at this time you have definitely went through the ringer you've definitely went through a transition very deep not only within for some of you your entire home life changed for some of you your entire city changed your entire location of your of your country that you reside in changed for some of you could have felt like everything came crashing down and burning only to rise up and become this beautiful blessing i just heard blessing in disguise for some of you you may have thought you were going to go bankrupt and spirit is starting to bless you taurus truly starting to bless you you could feel restrictions being removed you're going to truly feel a lot less weight i'm hearing Clarity of the mind, clarity of the spirit. We have Queen of Swords here, could be dealing with the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Somebody who's going to be in assistance of you. They could have their Libra, Gemini, Aquarius in their moon placement is what I'm picking up for sure. With this maternal, motherly, nurturing quality that I'm feeling with this Queen of Swords, which is not what you always feel with Queen of Swords, but I do. This Queen of Swords is highly developed. This Queen of Swords is highly intuitive. You could be this Queen of Swords here too, by the way. Take what resonates and flip-flop the energies and roles according to what your timeline is. Remember, I read for the entire collective, but you get your personal reading. That's where you get your, your timeline specific to you, detail by detail. But this Queen of Swords energy is also giving me a message here that you're finally going to be moving on from the past because the past doesn't exist anymore it exists in the now where you're at here in this moment here is what spirit says this is just what i'm feeling at this time on who god here with this queen of swords energy your authentic truth is that you don't need nobody taurus to truly be happy you don't need anyone to truly be successful you only need you and the connection you have with spirit and co-creation i have been saying this to you for a while i'm being called to pull another card here before i end your reading if this resonates comment below make sure to comment like and subscribe the more you show this channel love the more it grows and is able to provide back this is an exchange of energy always there's that mutual respect here period y'all know how roles go Taurus energy here and Libra energy here, interestingly enough here, with the Empress, Venusian energy. We picked up on Venus energy, huh? What did I say about your heart? Literally, this is the Empress here, number three, your communication. Number three represents the throat chakra communication. It represents the mind. It can also represent the third eye as well. In connection to the heart here, communicating and expressing what you truly need. Taurus, this is beautiful. You're vibrating as well with emperor and empress energy. You're balanced. I just heard femininity and masculinity aligned. Masculinity aligned. Look at this here. Remember I spoke of this beautiful golden heart. You have this ability to love, channel through nurturing quality here. Spirit is confirming with this golden heart here showing up. You are pure in your intentions. Doesn't mean you won't cut a bitch off if you don't need to, Taurus. This goes for masculine and feminine here. So we have the emperor and empress in your reading, Taurus. You are extremely gifted, extremely protected here. However, beware of the energies coming in to bring you tower moments there are lots of energies around you i'm getting a scorpio i heard another taurus wow I, I saw aries but then i also heard tiger so if a tiger is super significant to the situation this could be just another message out there for you that i just heard but that's not a zodiac sign it's just something that i heard in between the two but these are the energies that I'm reading intuitively as well. You have to definitely make sure that as you're on your throne, you're still carrying a cautiousness or an awareness of your surroundings. Definitely picking up on like a little bit of Leo tendency. So you could have Leo place in your chart prominently somewhere. I'm just sensing that energy, honestly. 
But Taurus, you are definitely shining bright like a motherfucking diamond and I'm proud of you. Have a great night. Peace.